Hi friends, it's Terry Stewart, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Welcome to this global SU vlog. Today, my project features the Dandy Garden, actually it's a Dragonfly Garden bundle. I'm really super excited to share it with you and let's get started. So this is the Dragonfly Garden bundle that I spoke about. It comes with a Dragonfly Garden stamp set and the Dragonfly's punch. This is a card that inspired me to make the project I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Now, while this uh, has some watercolor on it, and this particular sample uses white embossing, I'm actually gonna be using the gilding flakes. I love the gilding flakes, and it's gonna be, I think, a super card. So let's get started. So this project features a base made with black cardstock, and I'm going to cut this in half and then score it in half. There's my half sheet, and then I'm going to score it in half. For the front, I'm using a piece of watercolor paper, uh, and this is a first layer. And then on the inside, I have a piece of white cardstock, the same dimensions. And I'll post all the dimensions on my blog or in the link in the description below. So check out um, the description in this video. I also have a couple pieces of black uh, cardstock and scraps. And this, these are for my uh, dragonfly and for the uh, sentiment on the front. So I'll be using my aqua painters that I've recently acquired from Stampin' Up. They have three different pens in a set and there is a narrow tip. There is a medium tip and then this large one has a fan brush and they come in this case that they just go right inside it's kind of a hard case so they don't get squeezed and they have caps that fit right in there to this so today i'm using the medium tip brush. Now here's a trick. When you open it, it opens opposite of normal um, turning. So you want to turn it counterclockwise to open it and then put water in the barrel. I struggled with this. I just about threw them out because I couldn't figure out how to. I was trying to pull it. I was trying to twist it and I was twisting in the wrong direction. So uh, for my background, I'll be using the in color Misty Moonlight, and I'm going to squeeze, it says push here. I'm going to squeeze the water down in, into the brush, and I'm going to prime my watercolor paper by putting a little bit of water on it. I'm going to squeeze out a drop of green inker on this block here, and then in the water that I've already put out. Now I'm ready to fill on my watercolor paper. And you want to make sure you get some of uh, the water so it can be pushed around this paper, this watercolor paper. And then you can keep going over and over and over to get the saturation. Um, I will have I think I would kind of like a medium saturation. Just push the water around. Just about there, I think. And then once you're done, I am going to, um, use my 
chamois and it takes the color out of the, just by rubbing it on the chamois, you can see that the blue color ink is um, cleared away. Now the water on this is causing my um, watercolor paper to curl. So I'm going to set it aside to dry, but I'm going to put some blocks to anchor it so it doesn't curl as much. So I'll set this aside and let it dry while we pr proceed with the rest of the card making. So I'm first going to emboss with white embossing powder. This thank you for your kindness on a scrap of black cardstock. I'll use my Versamark ink. And I'll stamp this greeting. And then with the scrap paper, I'm going to use some white embossing powder. And I can just put that right back into the container and I'm ready to emboss. I find that using a wooden clothespin protects my fingers. And with my heat gun, turn my heat gun on, and then I'll heat it until the powder uh, turns shiny. And there is the embossed greeting. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. So now I'll be in using my gilding flakes. So with this dragonfly image on my scrap of black cardstock, I'm going to stamp in Versamark and the heat and stick powder. And then once it's sticky after I emboss it, the heat, heat it, then I'll put some gilded leafing on there. Stamp my dragonfly in Versamark on my scrap piece of black. And I wanna make sure that my image gets all the Versamark on it. Now I can use my heat and stick. So this will turn to glue once I use my embossing tool on it, my heat tool on it. So put it, so this is powdered glue. I'll put the excess back into the container. And again, I'll bring in my wooden clothespin and my heat. And this will turn clear, and that's you know that's when the glue is activated. And you just want it to turn glossy and not overheat it, or the glue uh, will get burnt and it won't hold. So now that it's sticky, I can open my carefully open my gold leafing, and this is very flyaway, very very. Flyaway. I'm gonna lay these sheets over my inked, my glued image. And just press it down. And if you feel like you've missed a spot, get a little bit more. And this will adhere where the heat and stick these little sheets will be everywhere. All these little it's very um, staticky and it wants to stick and fly away. You can kind of use your finger to rub it. You can see the, the dragonfly image come out. And then I have a sponge just an old sponge um, and I'm going to just do light circles over it and I'm not really pressing too hard. And that's about all that I want to take off of it. And you can see how the lakes stick. 
there's a, a gilded dragonfly. So I did a, a piece earlier um, using the watercolor just uh, so that it would be dry for this presentation. So now I'm going to do the same process that I did for this dragonfly on this piece of watercolor paper. So I'll be using Versamark, heat and stick, and the gilded leaf leafing. Be using this floral image, and I plan to uh, stamp here and then bring it down and stamp lower. So I'll be stamping with this twice in Versamark, and I'll be doing that at the same time. So with my Versamark. I ink my stamped image up and put it towards the top. Make sure that image adheres to the watercolor paper. And this is going to be lower about here. Just stamp that image. And now, my heat and stick, I'll cover that stamped versa mark. This is the glue that we're going to put our gilding flakes on. And then put our excess back into the container. And then my wooden pin and my heat gun. So we're just going to heat it again until the glue uh, melts so it's no longer white powder. The sticky glue once it gets it. Like I said, you don't want to overheat or the glue will burn. So now we can remove it and open our gilding flakes. And then carefully take out these sheets, lay them over the flowered image. There's a big piece, that will cover a lot. Close our jar. Try to scrape all this up. And so you can see how fly away they just kind of go everywhere. And any little up of air. I'll move them around. Bring my sponge back in and gently go over. You see the beautiful image comes off, becomes clearer. I'm going to use this image again, but with memento ink. So I'm going to clean it using my Stampin' Mist to make sure that the Versa mark is cleaned off of the stamp. And this is a landscape card. So I'm going to make sure I get my inside layer just accordingly. And I'm going to stamp, I ink my stamp up with Mento ink, and then stamp that along the left hand side. Very nice. Now we can start assembling. The first thing I'm going to do is punch out my dragonfly using my dragonflies punch from the Dragonfly Garden bundle. Line that up inside and then punch that. I'm gonna pop that up with some mini dimensionals here and then I'll take my snips and do a very thin piece for the tail. 
And the next thing with my snips, well, you can see the gilding flakes are all over this, little pieces of it. I'm gonna just do a fussy cut and do that. Cut with your right hand and steer with your left so your scissors are generally always in the same direction. And this too will get dimensionals behind it. Okay, and as I told you before, this does get a little cur curvy. So I'm gonna be using my uh, tear and tape just to um, make sure it stays flat on my card front. And then a piece right down the middle. And that should hold it flat. little tip with this, if you burnish your tear and tape, it actually peels up easier. So just rub all the coverings and then I'll use my pick a tool to remove those coverings. Highly recommend the pick, pick a tool. Now, this onto our card front. You should have this is a first layer. You have a border. I'm going to use my um, liquid glue and put my inside layer in there. And for the front, this, thank you for your kindness and this dragonfly glittering about. There are some flakes of gilding leafing. So we'll move these dimensional covers, place our sentiment on the front, and remove the dimensional covers from our dragonfly. Just really assist them, and this butterfly will be coming down from the left-hand corner. And here's our final card. Misty Moonlight watercolor background on watercolor paper. Gold leafing, gilding of the flowers, and a punched dragfly. Thank you so much for joining me. Please visit the other participants in this vlog hop. And don't forget to read the description for all the measurements for this card project. And until next time, remember, stamping is fun.